In 2012, I traveled to Okinawa together with Mina Mamu, a half Japanese musician and music researcher from London, and Agnieszka Szyminska, who had already done the video work and documentation for the Kenya Sessions project. The prefecture of Okinawa is located at the very south of Japan. It consists of more than 350 different islands. At least we have been to four of those islands Okinawa main island. Ishigaki, Taketomi and Miyakojima. The prefecture of Okinawa became quite famous for the longevity of its inhabitants. A lot of Okinawa became 100 years old and even older. But obviously the main reason why I wanted to go to Okinawa is the music culture. It's, the music culture of Okinawa is very unique. It's influenced by China by Taiwan, by mainland Japan, of course. But uh, the music from Okinawa is very distinct and until today the Okinawan have preserved this very specific and typical sound. And the most important instrument is the sanshin, a three-string instrument that always accompanies the main vocals by a very simple monophonic line. Another significant instrument is the zanba, which consists of three different wooden plates. Um, it looks like this, so you put the zamba around your left hand between these three fingers and then you can pull the instrument like this. And then you take the right hand and you try to Instead of recording inside of a proper studio, we were rather interested in recording the musicians in their everyday environment. We have been to a public market. We were allowed to record a session class conducted by Tetsuya Odaiko. to meet with Ms. Usedo, who is living on uh, Taketomi Island as a Buddhist monk. We were invited to the rehearsal room of Mr. Haraguchi and his classical music group. at a broadcasting studio with Mr. Arakaki after joining a local radio broadcast. how the music from Okinawa could be combined with the type of music that I'm usually playing. I was looking for a kind of interface between those two different musical styles that could turn into a relatively homogeneous and natural sound that would not sound like West meets East or traditional music meets contemporary music or whatever. Yeah. 
If you go to Okinawa, you will get in touch with the music immediately. There are so many restaurants that are offering live music. Also a lot of music venues, especially in Naha. There's a music venue called Shaka, which is quite famous. And we have been to Ohana to meet with Miss Keiko Kina. Thank you. 